Third raid on bail bond industry in the Bay Area. We have learned that major law enforcement sweep happened, and it includes several locations in San Jose. So far, 18 bail bondsmen have been arrested. Chief Investigative Reporting Tony Kowaleski joins us from the newsroom. And Tony, what's this about? Pretty significant here, Jess. Our sources confirmed that the major raid of the bail bond companies happened early yesterday. The State Department of Insurance confirmed what our sources shared, but they asked us to hold the information on the raids because they were not complete and there was a concern for officer safety. Here's what we now know, confirmed by sources at the Department of Insurance. 18 bills, bail Bosman, rather, people who made a career out of helping people get out of jail. They all spent the past 24 hours trying to get themselves out of jail. The arrest started early Thursday and continued into the night. Sources close to the investigation tell us Luna Bail Bonds in San Jose has had 10 employees arrested. Law enforcement has arrested nine employees from Aladdin Bail Bonds, also in San Jose, and one employee and one employee from San Jose's bail hotline, also facing charges tonight. When the raid is finished, a total of 31 bail bondsmen from seven different companies will spend time behind bars. They're all accused of colluding with jail inmates to get information on potential bail cases to beat the competition and get the bail business. The Santa Clara County DA has filed charges and they are serious, all felony offenses. We've also learned the State Department of Insurance has already revoked the bail licenses of all the arrested bail bondsmen. A source close to the investigation told us just a few hours ago the state's investigation found the bondsmen colluding with inmates inside the jail. Thirteen additional arrests are expected soon. Yes, Raj. Tony, before you go, so your sources have been telling you too that this just didn't happen willy-nilly. They've actually been looking at this, and this raid has been in the works for quite some time. Exactly, Jess. This has been a very robust investigation dating back to November, December of last year. Investigation involving phone lines inside the jail, discussions with inmates. They have been able to piece together, according to our sources, a trail that leads from the bail bonds companies to inmates inside the jail that allowed them to get business, that allowed them to get jump on business and beat the competition. That's what leads to the charges. That's why more arrests are coming. Okay. Thank you very much, Tony.